this is a huge thing for, for men and women, and that is dating in 2022 online dating. Um, I'll give you my personal take on it. Well, my personal experience or lack thereof. You know, so Yaya and I, we've been together uh, 11 years, married 10. We met at work. I've never gotten into online dating. So online dating was out, you know, during that time. But I never got into it. And I know uh, it's just my personality. I'm kind of a bit of an old soul, um, kind of traditional. Uh, I'm, I'm personable. I like to feel a person's energy. I like to meet. And uh, even when dating Yaya, I told her straight up, because, you know, women in the past would have a, a problem with it. I told her straight up, uh, listen, I'm not a phone person. I'm just not a phone person. I'm not really a texter. I'm not a phone person. I said, but I'll meet you. You know, we can always meet for lunch, yeah. for dinner, for brunch. I'll meet you. I don't mind you coming to my place. I don't mind coming to your place. I probably would never reject you on that, but I'm not huge on being on the phone. It's just, it, it's not my personality, uh, not even with my kids, really, but I love uh, communion. I love the energy of being together. I, I love that, the intimacy. Uh, so the online dating probably wouldn't work for me. Um, yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm dated. <laughs> so, um uh, and there are a lot of people like me. Uh, another thing is, yeah. I, I just don't trust it. Anybody can be whoever they want to behind their computer, even if they have a social awkwardness. And I'm not even talking about the physical, uh, you know, the, the cosmetic portion of it, how they look or right. the build. I, I'm not even talking about that. I'm mm -hmm. just talking about mm -hmm. the personality. Uh, who they are really more, are. Who they really are. The person can right. be more confident and be a whole different person behind that, that keyboard, behind that computer, that phone. Yeah. And then uh, you guys meet up. It's like, there's no conversation. Uh, they're awkward. They don't, you know, who, like, who is this person? <laughs> like, am I, am, I guess you would think, like, am I being uh, catfished? And this person right. is totally different than who I've been talking to. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing that I don't think I could ever get with. Uh, but we have needs. We have needs uh, aside from the sexual needs. We, we have needs of just touch, of communicating with people. You know, so what's your take on this whole thing, man? I guess it's, a, it's not a new concept, online dating, but it's a, at a whole different level now. This is the only way it seems. I agree with you. I just think it's, I don't know. It's its not real. It seems so, um, I don't know. It just, like you said, you can't tell. I mean, anybody can even put any picture up or anybody can put anything they want up and it doesn't necessarily, you know, would be them. And the thing is, too, is to actually really know somebody. I think you have to engage all of your five senses. We were given our five senses for a reason. Right. Our five senses will tell us whether we're compatible with somebody. But if you sit with somebody on a, a digital, a flat screen, how many, how many of your senses would you say you're engaging right now? Like, how many of your senses are you engaging? Um. Hearing, <laughs> hearing, not not fully sight because I'm I, I'm not actually looking at you constantly. I'm looking at the exactly. camera. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm exactly. looking at the camera. It's it's it's, it's yeah. a flat one D surface, and you can't even see you can't yeah. even see the. I mean, I see people's energy auras, and you can't even yeah. see that. Right. It's it's not real. You can't really know who somebody yeah. is unless you, yeah. I I believe that I agree with you. I don't think you really know somebody unless you literally are in the room with them. You can literally feel. Right. We have all these na these instincts that are there for a reason, and it, right. like the teal swan lady keeps talking about compatibility, how important it is 
and how many people are actually not compatible. They're incompatible, mm -hmm. but they're trying to force something to work. Right. Right. If we go back to the, to the old, old fashioned, you know, dating times and you look at it, they were always engaging all five of their senses. Always. That's where the courting. And courting scientifically came in. they've shown that that, 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 say again. Courting. Can you hear me? Is my camera cutting out? Yes, it's. it's you know uh, what? Give me, give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Let, okay. Give me just a second. I'll let me do something. Okay. Sorry about that. Maybe that'll be, I think that'll be faster. Okay. Yeah, it seems better. It does. So, yeah, you were saying uh, scientifically. Yeah, scientifically, they've shown that when you're using all five senses and you're engaged with somebody and you're you're using all five senses, your your body or your senses will literally tell you whether you're compatible with somebody or not. Wow. But now think about this. Now think about all these people that are just on screen and all they see is the 1D. They can't see the full full uh, auras. They can't see the energy. They can't see any of that. Only what shows on here. Right. Um, how are they going to tell? Even the tones, even when we're through electronics, the tone in your voice, your ear is trained to hear certain tones in the voice that are compatible with you or attractive or unattractive with to you. But on, on through electronics, you can't. So let's just say somebody's on online dating and they're just going back and forth, you know, and maybe they develop something. It's going to be a mind thing because your senses aren't engaged. So it's got to be a mind thing. So what if they develop that mind thing? So in their mind, it's so, so overwrought with this already that they, when they actually do meet, <laughs> The other senses are, are so suppressed by that time they can't they're not even gonna be accurate anyway. Well, well yeah. And this is is this where we get do you think this is where we get the uh what they call it the uh sapiosexual? Where where uh well, I is mean, that something different? Where, where it's where it's the mind, you know, you're probably right because because what else is there for you to be attractive attracted to than what you think is the mind if you don't have any of the senses. Right, because that's a new, is, is that a new term? I, I just started I hearing that. I think it's a new term, yeah. I, I, I've actually never heard that term until you sent me that article. I've never heard it. Yeah, yeah, it's a new term, I, I believe, uh, and that's all about people being attracted to uh, intellectual uh, beings. But, but, you know, the thing is, is this. Honestly, the thing is, is, Humans are going to fall in love with something regardless. Okay. Now, if you take that physical aspect out of it, what is there left? Right. Right. So, <laughs> right. And like you said, you can, you can think you're talking to somebody that it is just not what it is. Yeah. yeah. When you actually meet. But on the flip side, just playing devil's mm -hmm. advocate. Should we get to a point where we're more attracted to the mindset, the intellect, the spirit? Well, we'll say the spirit, the mind, opposed to uh, anything uh, that is physical. Should we get to that point? You know, that's kind of interesting because, again, I think that I think attraction needs to be on on multiple levels, not just one. I agree. But again, how how do you know? If you're not hearing the real tone of the voice, you're not hearing, because again, if you were in the room with me and we were talking, literally you would, your ear would be picking up different tones that you cannot pick up through electronic devices. You can't pick up the, the voice actually will come through a lot more flat on an electronic de device than it would in a room. Maybe consciously you don't pick it up. Subconsciously you sure are. You're picking up all the tones. Your body's telling you, do I want to hear those tones every day for the rest of my life. Is it a pleasant sound or is it going to be a grating sound? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. I mean, 
Yeah. I mean, really, think about it. Do you want to hear those tones for the rest of your life? <laughs> I mean, whatever. I guess I guess we're subconsciously asking ourselves that. Or do I want to have do I want to smell this scent? Right, for the rest, for the rest of, of my yeah, life. You're right, you're right. Yeah. yeah. But but you can't smell someone online. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I mean pH balance, if they use a certain soap, uh cologne, perfume, whatever they use, natural oils, whatever. Like all that plays a part in attraction. It does. It does. You're right. Wow. wow, the touch. That's another sense. Mm-hmm. You know, um, hands. Like you may not. You the woman may be like, man, he has girly hands. I, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, or, right. Or or God might say she has rough hands, or or her hands are bigger than mine. Like <laughs> like whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. it all plays a part. Do I want to do I want to deal with this or can I accept this for the rest of my life? Yeah. That's what people really need to be looking at. If they would be willing to do that, then uh that's a pretty good indication that yeah, there's compatibility. You want to look at all those aspects. Yeah. I think people, you know, especially younger people, well, anybody now, it still doesn't seem, but I know younger people tend to, you know, just jump into something really fast not thinking you know, is this something that I'm so attracted to that I would want it for the rest of my life? Or is it just a temporary thing? So then they kind of do it as, you know, a fling type thing. And then they, you know, they're, this one's unhappy, that one's unhappy. And it just, you know, I mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you're right on point. You know, um, we should look at, people should look at, at this uh, aspect also. If I get mad at this person. Not, not mm-hmm. that we're breaking up, that we're, we're having us back. If we, if I get mad at this person, would I, would I think of going somewhere to hit below the belt? Something I'm not attracted to. <laughs> Where this, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, so. Oh yeah. When I was young, <laughs> when I was young man, I, I learned, I learned myself in this aspect to where I told myself. And people may think it's shallow, but I told myself, I can't date someone or be serious with someone who's not physically attracted to me, attractive mm-hmm. to me, because I don't want to be angry because you may have spats. You may right. have get into it. I don't want to be angry. And that thought comes to my head that she's ugly or <laughs> uh-huh. she, she's built a certain way or she's dumb or I don't want right. that. Yeah, so because that's because yeah. that's how you truly feel. That's 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 a really valid point. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's how you truly feel when you get angry. Those thoughts, man. That's that's in your subconscious and it's coming out. Yeah. Mm, wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, man. People people got to be honest with themselves, though. They really mm. do. They really do. They got to be honest because that happens a lot when people clash and they get into it. They start they start hitting below the belt and they start saying what they really uh, have have impressed upon their subconscious. So so then then let me ask you a question. So is there is there actually such a thing as being compatible on all levels? To where that there wouldn't be anything like that? I think it could be a respect, a compatible respect. So, for example, okay, there has to be an appreciation mm-hmm, for the different mm-hmm. for the differences yeah. and a love for the differences. So, say for instance, say for instance, if uh, if uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm a whiz kid. I'm a, I'm a highly intellectual, highly intelligent, right? And let's say, this is just an example. <laughs> let's say you're, mm-hmm. let's say you're not as intelligent as I am, mm-hmm. and but you have this this goofiness to you, right? That yeah. lights that lights up the room. I have I have to have an appreciation for that and not look down on that. I got to be like, yeah, yeah, my you know my my babe, she, you know, to myself like, yeah, she she doesn't get some things. Mm-hmm. But 
But when I think about it, I just laugh, and it warms my heart about your goofiness. Yeah, I can it, see it, what you're saying. It, yeah, it warms me, and I guess get a joy of being around that. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and you're not beating me up and using that against me, my, inter- my intellect, saying, uh, calling me a nerd or... Or you know, beat me up with it. Yeah. And yeah. and you're you're like, yeah, my guy, he doesn't quite fit in with everybody. He, he's kind of quirky, but I love his mind. I love the way his mind works. That's yeah. the thing. It has to be a respect. I agree because yeah. we because we I think a lot of times we're attracted to somebody that has an aspect that we don't have ourselves because right. it it helps to fill some of those you know. Parts that we don't have. But to truly get to that space, we have to love our, and accept ourselves. Mm, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And yeah. then I can, I, can, I can accept your difference. Your, your, whatever your thing is, I can accept that. Mm-hmm. And it may, it, it, it may fit perfectly with me. I may say, I need that in my life. I know I, I have a weird sense of humor. I'm not sociable. I know this. I accept it. I, I know this. But she is... And I, I respect that she is. I embrace it. And so it fits me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. 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 And so, but. Well, uh, what, what do you, what do you think are some of the, uh, <laughs> what's the remedy for this, the way everything's gone to where everything's electronic and online and we really don't know who the people are we t- we're talking to. What do you think? The remedy. Wow. What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is there even one? I think um, just for me, if I was out there, we would have to meet up. We have to meet up for coffee. Uh, that's just, I, I wouldn't waste any time. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't waste any time. You know, uh, just meet up, meet up for coffee, uh, be in, in front of each other. You know, but it's so weird. It's so weird and different today because uh, people are so spread out. Sometimes. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Gonna yeah. Say. And so there may not be anyone in a 25 mile radius of you, or it's not really congested. You know, um, slim pickings. So I don't know. It's easier said than done to say move to a city, move to a big city or a congested city. I don't, you know, everybody just can't do that or want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it can be question. crazy because, you know, I have almost nobody within a hundred mile radius of me. I mean, literally. Wow. So it's one of those miles? things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To the, the closest city of any size is about a hundred miles. So, <laughs> yeah. and you don't, and you don't want to move. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, but I don't, I wouldn't like to be in the city. I don't, I, I just, I just don't like that kind of, yeah. ugh. Uh, just the I, energy I, is just too busy. I just like to have where I can go outside and, and nobody sees me. I can just sit in the sun, do whatever I want, be outside. Right. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I don't yeah, know. It's, it's, it's pretty remote, though. It's pretty yeah, remote, I'm feeling. This, this, yeah, this isn't the movies where uh, a guy comes wandering in town. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then he, he takes board and room. <laughs> And and then you guys form a love, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, it doesn't work like that. But uh, yeah. yeah, I don't that online thing. But then you said there's a hundred mile radius. <laughs> yeah. So even online <laughs> to meet to and meet and even people. online to meet anybody in that area is practically impossible. About all that you're gonna see is people you know states away. That's about it. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a tricky one. I'm really, I'm really frustrated that I can't solve this. 
Well, it's, really you know, it's it's the age of electronics, and it's like, I mean, that's what our young people do. That's my daughter actually just met somebody on a dating site, and they're married and expecting their first baby. So you know, mm. it's done. It's done. But you know, it's just like, yeah, ooh, that, I don't know. So with that situation, uh, did she move to where he was, or he moved to where she was, or they stayed pretty close? She I, she moved to where he was. Yeah. Okay. See. Yeah, someone would have to someone would have to move. Right. And I think on a lot of those places they always ask, would you would you be willing to relocate? They ask that, but it's like Yeah. yeah. That, it takes a lot of trust too. It does. Um, yeah, yeah. Packing up. Yeah, and you wouldn't you wouldn't want to do that with somebody you'd never met. Right. Right. <laughs> no yeah, way. I've, yeah, I've seen that go bad too. When people uh-huh. have people have done that. I've seen that go bad. Uh yeah. So something in me tell well, my gut tells me to go with your gut if you should move. Uh, but man, that's that's so tricky. That's so tricky. Yeah, because like like we were talking earlier, you really can't know somebody unless I mean, how are you gonna know somebody online? You can't. Yeah, their living habits. Uh, even just yeah, even just talking to somebody on the phone, I don't believe you can really know them. Yeah. Or Unless you literally meet them and feel the energy, you have to be able to feel the energy. What does the energy feel like? Is it right. matching? You know, electronically, it's not yeah. going to come through. Right, it's not. It's not. Um, yeah, that's tricky. 